Hello again, and it's time for another project. Today we're going to route out this ostrich, emu, with a nice long neck, with the words, wind your neck in. That's something my parents would say to me on many occasion. Okay, as always, we've got our template made, we've set it up, sawed down, stuck in place, we've marked out where everything wants to be, it's nice and square, everything's sorted. The way I do it, as always, with mine, is literally put your carbon paper underneath and draw around it. That's as simple as it gets. If you're really clever, you can put some painter's tape on the full piece, spray it, stick the wood right down and route over the top if you're really clever. I'm obviously not that clever because I've tried it and it's just a mess for me. So I'm not comfortable with that. So good old carbon paper, draw around it as always and you can see what we've ended up here with here like so and that's all we need always remember to shade in the areas that you want to remove because something like the face you'll get carried away and before you know it you've took half the beak away the good thing with this little project this fits the wood perfectly if it had been a six foot piece of wood I literally would have just extended the neck if it's a short piece you can shorten the neck like so So you can go as long or as short as you like. Anyway, let's move on to our bits before we start routing this out. As always, I'm going to use my CNC engraving bits. These are really cheap to purchase, but they are fantastic. I'm really happy with those. However, they do come with a small shaft on them, so you require a little collet. And your little CNC bit, you can see it's a very small shaft. That literally just slots into there like so. And now that's quarter of an inch and that will fit into your router, no problem. We're going to use this to go around all the outlines, set the depth that we want it. I always tend to use a bit of scrap wood like so. Pick out a depth that suits you, one that you've used from previous projects. Set it to that and we're good to go. And literally we're just going to draw around everything with this, around all the lettering. And then we know we're safe and when we come in with the another bit to clean out the darkened area we're not going to have any issues with any small pieces popping off when we do get to clean out the area i'm going to put on these these are carbide end mill end engraving bits something like that if you're putting mill end bits cnc on ebay you start finding plenty of these these are quite new to me but they i've used them twice before and they're lovely for cleaning out this inner area they come in different sizes, obviously 1 to 10 there. This smallest one like a pin. I think that will break personally as soon as you put it in the wood. So that's we're going to clear it all out with that. Cut it out with those. Then we'll put our black paint on. Sand it down. We might even put resin in yet. But we'll stick to the paint for now. And we'll see how we get on. Okay, let's start routing out. Right, you can see from that we've gone round all the outline with our CNC bit. Now we're going to put one of these carbide end mill end bits. If you just search mill end bits CNC, you'll eventually find these. They come in various sizes, and what these do is clean it out the bits you want to remove, and also because they've got a rough base on them, they'll also smooth the back area. So they're pretty cool. I actually ordered these by mistake, but the more I'm using them, the more I'm liking them. 
same size shaft as your CNC bit so you can use the same collet and the literally just slot in the same way and that will fit your router again so we'll start using this to remove the smaller bits that we've got obviously I've took so many out this is coming out quite easy I would have been quite happy to do it all with the CNC bit as you can see I've done most of the lettering already but we're going to go in with our little mill end bits as I'm going to call them just to tidy it up okay let's get this one in the router and we'll start clearing this out Okay, we've took all our inner bits out with our carbide end, mill end engraving bit. That's a mouthful. We've had no disasters. Everything's still in one piece. We haven't lost any little bits. All I like to do now, and this is just a personal preference for me, is literally go around with a Dremel with a small little... This is actually an engraving bit, I believe. And generally just a quick tidy up. Right, it's all clean now, it's all nice and smooth. I use a little mouse sander in the end, just to smooth that down. Now originally, I was thinking about putting resin into this. And it could be done, but they're just far too many small areas. And I just think we might be struggling to get the resin inside there, on this occasion. So for now, we're just going to do our normal standard way and that is to put black paint in the black i'm going to use is painter's touch you can use acrylic there's a marsh ink spray that you can spray it all if you prefer to spray i've always done brushing so it works for me before that we're just going to seal the fibers on the wood that we've carved out to stop what they call the paint bleeding now literally this means the freshness of the cut on the side here when you put your paint in it can bleed into the side walls and therefore when you come to sand it down you won't have your nice crisp lines so it bleeds into the side so to stop this there is a sanding sealer you can purchase I've never used it myself personally and this one is pine and you don't really need a lot of it on here but for the sake of a couple of seconds I'm just going to use some kind of sealant, some do polyurethane over a couple of coats before they spray it, just to protect those side walls a little bit. Some woods are worse than other. So we'll spray this on first, a couple of coats, let it dry, and then we'll start painting our black paint. Okay, that's all nicely dry. All we've got to do is throw our paint in. It's going to take a couple of coats. And you will find that you'll miss bits. But if you get a black marker pen, you can just dab it on. Saves you repainting. So this is literally just a case of throwing this in like so. The best we can. I'll go all the way around like this. You get the basic idea just throw it into whatever you think needs doing like so 
I'll complete this off camera and then once it's dry we'll come back to what I think is the best bit is the actual sanding down and then it'll proper take shape and then we'll throw some yellow or white on the eyes and we'll see what we end up with right that's nicely dried now I've gone over it a couple of times you think you've got it all and then you'll miss another bit but you can also spray it if you prefer that I'm just used to using a brush all the time okay sanding time a little mouse sander for me work fine 120 grit and we're literally just going to go over it the best we can and we'll see what we end up with Right, you can see from that, it's all nicely dry. We've done his eyes for him. So all that's left now is, to, for me, I personally want to put the linseed oil on just to darken these backs and the bottoms and the sides. Uh, linseed oil tends to turn the wood slightly yellowish or darker, should I say, in time. But I don't mind that. It's just a little bit too light for me. So... Boiled linseed oil, Danish oil, tongue oil is it, citrus oil, there's all sorts out there. Find one that's your preference and literally I just want to put it on like that just to darken that down a little bit. But like I say with this linseed oil it will go darker in time but I'm quite happy with that. It's not everybody's cup of tea. And the same on the front, just throw it on, just let it have a nice soak in. Give it a wipe over, over and go over all the black, it doesn't matter, it won't do it any harm. And then when it's dry, we'll spray on some protection of some description. And then this project will be finished. So I'll continue with this and we'll come back when it's all complete. Okay, that's nicely dried. That's uh, this project more or less finished. As always, just a basic slot in the back routed out it's quite deep wood is this one so you've got no issues with that we've got a little bit of a shine going down there as you can see and that's literally a case of spraying on the same stuff we used before we started painting which is that one there's all sorts out there polyurethane should i say varnish yacht varnish anything that you're happy with that's the main thing get what uh, works for you so there you have it if you can't say something nice, just wind your neck in. <laughs> okay then, 20 inch by 8 and a half, routed out, wind your neck in, plaque. Thank you for watching.